Well, hey church, welcome uh, to today's devotional. My name's Joel, I'm the youth pastor with my wife, Amy, in our Manchester campus. And uh, today we have the honour and privilege of praying uh, and believing for our teenagers and youth ministry uh, here at Audacious Church. I'm excited uh, for all God is doing um, through our teenagers. We have some incredible young people who call Audacious at home and God is really on the move. We've seen amazing things over the last few terms. We've seen salvation, we've seen uh, miracles, we have seen people getting back, young people getting baptized. Uh, but we believe there is more for this generation. We believe there's more uh, for our teenagers and uh, we wanna pray with you uh, today. And um, real verse that we've held on to uh, over this kind of running up to prayer and fasting uh, is John four sixteen, 16, uh, where Jesus declares, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And um, we're really declaring that over our young people um, and believing kind of for a revelation of um, of Jesus and who Jesus is to them and what their relationship with God means to the life that they are living. Um, we believe every young person has been created on purpose for a purpose. We believe that every young person has a plan that has been designed by God. You know, the Bible says that he knitted us together in our mother's womb, that he knows the hairs on our head. That is a God who knows the detail. That is a God who knows his creation. And we believe that every teenager, no matter what circumstances they walk into the house of God with, no matter what their background is, no matter what they might have done or thought or said, that God has a plan for them, that he loves them uh, and that he wants to move in their life. And as we declare uh, this Bible verse that um, Jesus uh, says in John, these words that Jesus says, um, we kind of want you as the church to be praying into three key things. So the Bible verse is John four 16. I've already said it, that Jesus is declaring, I am the way, the truth, and uh, the life. And we're just praying uh, for number one, for salvation, that young people would realize that Jesus is the way. That Jesus is the way for them to access life and life to the full. That Jesus is the way and um, for them to come into eternal life. That Jesus is the way that they can live a life with purpose. Uh, we are praying for salvation in this generation. I don't care what people say about Gen Z. I don't care what people, uh, what people are writing in the newspapers. This generation is hungry. This generation is ready for a move of the spirit of the living God. And I want you to uh, pray today for salvation in this generation. In schools, would we just see a breakout of salvation? Would we see young people um, having their hearts softened and their eyes opened to who Jesus is, that he is the way for them to access true life, that it's not going to come from any social media platform. It's not going to come from any um, substance they might take. It's not going to come from any relationship that they might pursue, but actually that Jesus is the way for them to live eternal life. Jesus is the way. He is the truth. My goodness me, our young people and this generation need the truth. Not a truth, uh, not uh, their truth, whatever that might mean to them, but the truth. We are praying that young people would have a revelation of the truth, that Jesus is the truth and that the truth sets them free. There is a reason there is so much confusion and noise in the world at the moment. And that is because the enemy wants our young people to be confused. He wants them to be um, wondering about what is true, and what is not true, what is fake news, what is the real deal. And we want to pray that the truth, that the living word of God, that the final authority of God, that Jesus Christ would be the truth in their lives, that they would be set free from these fake truths and these half truths and these lies from the enemy, and that they would pursue and live in the truth that they are sons and daughters of the Most High, that God is, that Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of lords in their life, that they don't need any king, uh, any small g God to come into their life, but they need the truth that is God is for them and with them and that they need to follow him. Uh, we're praying against the fake truth. We're praying against the half truth. We're praying against the lies of the enemy. And we are believing that young people would have a revelation of the truth and that the truth would set them free from everything that might be binding them. The final one is that he, Jesus, I am the way, the truth and the life. My goodness me, uh, I want to pray and I want you to pray with us that young people would realise that they truly discover life uh, when they enter relationship with Jesus, that, um, that they would live life and life to the full. 
uh, that they wouldn't miss out on anything that God has planned for them. I've said it at the start, but we believe every young person was created on purpose for a purpose, that he has a plan for their life, that he has uh, already gone before them and laid out an incredible plan and purpose for them. And we just pray and declare that this generation, that these teenagers, that these young people would live a life on purpose for Jesus, that they would have dreams and visions and that they would start to walk in the gifts of the spirit that God wants to to give to them. We are praying for young people to rise up for and be politicians. We're praying for young people to rise up and be future church planters. We're praying for young people to rise up and be missionaries and preachers and teachers. We're praying for young people to rise up and bring be incredible parents to young people to their future children. We are praying for young people to live a life on purpose. So today I'd love you if you could stand with us and pray for these things that uh, Jesus is the way, the truth and the life that young people would discover those three things in their lives and, and that we would see an incredible move of the spirit in and through the young people that call audacious at home, but also in the cities where we are and the nations that we are um, for a move of the spirit of God. And uh, I'm excited to see all that God does in audacious youth uh, off the back of your faithful prayers. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for being the church. Thank you for every prayer you've lifted up. Uh, we feel it, the team feel it, and I'm excited to see what God does. I'd love you to go and pray now. I don't know what you're going to do or where you are, but please, if you could take the next five, 10 minutes just to pray over this generation, it would be mean so much to us. Have an amazing day. We love you, church. Let's keep going. 21 days of prayer and fasting. See you tomorrow for whoever's doing that devotion. It's going to be great. And uh, we love you guys. Bye.